Welcome to Philip Capital's Weekly Market Watch. The rally we started in March is now looking less credible. To understand what is going wrong with the rally, we need to understand the reason for the rally. So let us find out from Mr. James Chua, Investment Analyst from Philip Capital Management. So James, is the recovery thesis still valid or are we seeing the commandments of a new leg lower? We really must understand um, you know, the reason for, for this rally that, that uh, bottomed uh, in uh, March 9th and then uh, you know, basically it took, all, it took the market all the way till uh, July. Um, you know, if we, if, uh, we look back uh, into March, uh, you will recall that on March 10th, uh, City Group came out uh, with comments uh, saying that uh, profitability was positive in the first two months of the year. So, so you know the the, the stocks uh, rallied six percent on that day. Uh, financials rallied um, as a group uh, eight to ten percent on that day alone. So so that really marked the bottom uh, in uh, in March. And so and so um, what happened on that day is that perceptions regarding um, crisis mode uh, in the financials had changed uh, from negative to positive. Uh, you know you 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 add to that. Uh, the the fact that um, a lot of the of the leading indicators, the, the typical things that people look for um, in a in a recovery scenario, indicators like the ISM, uh, the purchasing managers index, uh, you know you look at the the bond credit spreads. Uh, a lot of these indicators were were showing um, you know indications of actually coming off a bottom, and then you you add a third. Uh, factor to that, which is which is extremely depressed valuations. So if you look at the PEs, the price to books uh, of a lot of the indexes in the world, uh, at that point it traded two standard deviations below long term average. So what you do have is actually you have uh, you know a very credible uh, scenario uh, where where recovery can occur. Um, what we see right now is that the perceptions have changed. Okay, so back in March, people were worrying about a crisis. Okay, after the rally has happened and we're at this new, pro- uh, new higher price level, then the, the perceptions are, are changing and they're asking themselves, investors are asking uh, themselves, what next? What, is, what does a growth scenario in O10 look like? So it's not so much, is a crisis going to happen, but it's more, what does, does a growth outlook look like? And that really is um, where we're at right now. What do you expect the growth recovery will look like? And why so many analysts are negative on a quick recovery? Yeah, I mean, the strategists are saying a lot of different things. Uh, you know, they have different flavors to their analysis. But, but um, you know, in total, what they do agree on is that the deleveraging of the U.S. consumer will take a long time. Uh, you have a U.S. consumer that is uh, up to the eyeballs in debt, uh, experiencing declining home equity, and uh, you know they're losing jobs, so so this takes a very long time uh, to recover. And uh, also, if you if you study um, the you know how long it takes for co- for consumers to raise their savings rate, um, it, it's not something that happens overnight. It's something that happens over a series of years uh, or even decades. So you know the the central theme to why this is going to be a slow recovery is of course the main engine of the world, which was for so many years the US consumer is not uh, going to recover overnight. He's like a patient that just came out of coma uh, and is going to take uh, a long time before he's back on his feet. Um, I think what uh, investors do uh, underestimate at this moment is of course how strong uh, China can lead the world out of uh, this uh, growth slump. We think that, uh, I mean, if you look at China, it's, uh, it, it's really the top of performer in terms of uh, price over the last year. It's, it's up 40% relative to the US. S- but uh, what we think uh, is a possible scenario going forward is that uh, investors uh, have actually underestimated uh, how quickly China can recover, how strong their earnings are, um, and also in particular how resilient their consumer sector is. And we think that um, this uh, positivity regarding China can be priced in uh, going forward um, and you know, we're looking for ways to play that. What do you think the investors should look out for to identify the first sign of growth pick up from here? Yeah, I mean, I think um, you know, the thing that investors really want to be paying attention to is um, management guidance because 
uh, what what we're going to see from here is you've already you, you can't really look at the, at the leading indicators because they've already come off a bottom and you know like for instance the ism is just above 50 in the us so so we, we really want to pay attention to what management is saying regarding inventories uh, you know it, rega uh, regarding uh, same store sales regarding restocking um, i think i think that really is key and you know i think I just just to give you a sense for for what we're looking at, if if we look at uh, how the market has been behaving, um, you know, transitioning from the first quarter in '09 to the second quarter in in '09, what we see is a market that has actually moved its focus uh, from initially focusing on price to books to now focusing on price to earnings. Okay, so which which tells us that uh, the market becomes preoccupied uh, with uh, you know how earnings will look like. Uh, in 09 with how earnings will look like in 010 so really what would be the driver of equity returns going forward we believe is um, you know how how um, management revises their earnings upwards and and of course uh, you know actual earnings that uh, that are being reported thank you james that's all we have for you today tune in next week for more market updates